It is the 3rd of the 4th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. Underground tanks that hold a stew of toxic radioactive waste at the nation's most contaminated nuclear site pose a possible risk of ex explosion. A Nuclear Safety Board said on advance of confirmation hearings for the next leader of the Energy Department. State and federal officials have long known that hydrogen gas could build up inside the tanks at Hanford Nuclear Reservation, leading to an explosion that would release radioactive material. The Defense Nuclear Facility Safety Board recommended additional monitoring and ventilation of the tanks last fall, and federal officials were working to develop a plan to implement the uh, recommendation. The board expressed these concerns again Monday to the U.S. Senator Ron Wyden, a Democrat from Oregon, whose chairman of the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee had sought the board's perspective about cleanup at Hanford. And uh, this story goes on and on. All double shell tanks contain waste and continuous generates some flammable gas, the board said. This gas will eventually reach flammable conditions if adequate ventilation is not provided, and we already know these tanks are substandard. They've got 40 miles of trenches uh, they just dump stuff right into uh, without liners. The insanity continues. I will, of course, attach a link to the EXSKF blogspot. They're covering that story. Over to e and &E News. Uh, four U.S. nuclear plant workers injured by flash. They had a huge arc explosion in Missouri. Uh, helicopter transport was required. Another, uh, don't worry folks, everything's under control situation in a nuclear power plant. Alarm triggered at Fukushima Daiichi. Workers ordered to put on full face masks. Uh, their dust monitor went off. Um, Watch uh, oil sheen covers virtually all of Giant Sinkhole. This is Louisiana uh, Bayou Corn. Quote, much worse than we could have imagined last summer, unquote. you got to remember they are dealing with the deepest um, failure on history, and the sinkhole will continue um, to do what it's going to do, I guess. Magnitude 6.1 earthquake off northeastern Japan. Several magnitude 5 uh, aftershocks followed. And uh, again, you wonder why those dust alarms went off. TEPCO shows underground flowing from Fukushima reactors into ocean. I've been going on and on about this for years. The groundwater is seeping through the plant and directly into the ocean. Um, what they're not telling you is that the corium is through containment and in the, in the atmosphere and uh, dumping directly into the Pacific Ocean. U.S. pipeline rupture. Oiled wildlife, unrecognizable. Kids exposed to very strong fumes at school. Doctors talk about health dangers. They got a video on that. And uh, that's that Arkansas um, pipe burst. They're not calling it an official oil spill because of, uh, technically it's sand. And uh, the insanity and the lawyers have taken over that little sideshow as well. So uh, definitely, like I said before, something we need to pay attention to. Um, we end up with a John Bowen ball situation. You remember the pipeline that burst in um, Michigan a couple years ago. They are still dealing up with the cover-ups and the aftermath and the medical effects of that. So uh, heads up in Arkansas if you're anywhere near this area. And... Uh, yeah, back to the stories of last time. Crisis of epic, epic proportions for California sea lions. Suffering absences, seizures, exponentially higher numbers washing up, and videos on that. Um, it's just pandemonium and anarchy in the Pacific Ocean uh, off the coast of California. And you got to remember, it's not just the sea lions. It's not just the sea lions. Uh, that's about all i got for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. I am. Thank you.